there's one thing that's becoming abundantly clear the more I read about places like London and the antics of its mayor and council members, South End being another one, Oxford, and the list is endless. The overall plan is they don't want any cars through their cities, they don't want too much movement about unless it's on Shanks's pony or a push bike. And one simple way to do this is to charge the cars into oblivion. So they turn around and say, you know what, stuff you, I'm not coming. Well, I've got some news about the London Borough of Hackney. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing alright, I'm not too bad, not too bad, let me know how you are in the comments, and uh, that you're going to have a good day. A uh, bit of news on a couple of live streams for you, tonight at 9.30 there'll be the uh, members only live stream for our channel members, and at 9 o'clock on Sunday evening I will be in a live stream chatting with the fitness hutch which I'm uh, very much looking forward to, so make sure you tune in for that. Both of those you'll find in the live section of the channel. Well, on with the story. Yes, the London Borough of Hackney is actively considering the introduction of some kind of distance-based road user charge. Uh, so basically, if you get in, your, get in your car or your motor vehicle and go a certain distance, you can be charged an amount of money. And this is all part of their... Uh, Local implementation plan. I did bring you a story a few weeks ago where the London Borough of Hackney were, uh, you know, talking about low traffic neighbourhoods and the fact that they wanted to reduce the movement of these polluting motor vehicles uh, by about 70% in that area. It's never going to wash, and I've seen evidence that residents are really pissed off with it. Really pissed off. Well, of course, it all comes as part of, uh, you know, the ULES and congestion charge situation as well. And they want to run it in tandem. So as long as, as well as paying £12.50 for one and whatever the hell the other one is, uh, you've got this to cope with as well. Now, all of this stems from Sadiq Khan. I know uh, ULES and everything was fought up when Boris was in office as Mayor of London, but... The, the basis of this is Sadiq Khan because he's previously called for a, a paper mile driving charge uh, in the capital where, you know, you, you, you are charged per mile for how far you drive. And, uh, you know, they're looking at this replacing all other charging models within the city. I'm sure if they could get away with it, it would spread to everywhere else. Now... <laughs> What they would charge depends on various factors, uh, such as, you know, location, miles driven, and they're saying other factors as well, but won't say what. Now, I've read they're talking about people's incomes. I mean, what's that got to do with anybody? The good thing is the technology to make this happen doesn't exist yet. It's just not ready. It's nowhere near. And all the while that's the case, so much the better. But... It, it really is intrusive. I mean, this is one of the reasons he wants cameras up here, there and everywhere to catch catch all the action because it's in preparation for this kind of stuff going in. It's a slow creep towards, you know, literally you might as well leave the car at home. Can you think of the number of people with cars on driveways in these areas? As soon as they turn the key and roll backwards onto the road, boom, it'll cost you to get off your own, your own driveway. Absolutely nuts absolutely nuts let me know what you think about this in the comments below but it's not only Hackney it's happening all over the place all over the place we're walking straight into it all we can do is spread the word make sure as many people know about it as possible and uh, find a way of saying no we don't need it anyway I'm off I'll see you with one more Toodaloo. loo